preparing a film um, to shoot Rio de Janeiro in 16, 1969 and 1979, two different uh, age and um, using, using a lot of uh, natural light. Then, then it was the big challenge for me. Yeah, I can bet. And we can see that the movie, uh, the, the cinematography uses lots of natural light. Um, and this is such a pleasure for us to watch. Uh, I had the opportunity to see the movie uh, at the theaters last year. Uh, I was at um, the special projection that they, they made here uh, for the journalists. And it was a very moving experience. Uh, not only by the, the cinematography, but also by the, uh, because of the script, because of the, the whole story and the whole, um, uh, the, the whole elements that work together uh, to create such a beautiful, beautiful story for Joana. And you said about, you said a little bit about your process. And um, as I was watching, I noticed that uh, the shots are very clean and organized. Um, they use lots of natural light. As you said, you guys uh, were uh, very aware of the, the sun positions and we have lots of locations in, in, in this film. And I would like to know, uh, you guys worked uh, with storyboards or you guys just um, did the, 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 how you guys did the, the setting for this, for this movie? Well, um, I, I, I was involved in all the, all the departments in the pre-production and not, not only with the art director, with the, with the customer designer and the art designer, but also in rehearsals with, with the kids. It was so important to use a small camera in these rehearsals and, and most of the, the rehearsals it was not a lot of rehearsal, but the, 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 the rehearsal what it happened in the, in the pre-production. I, I tried to be with, 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 with Flavia and the kids. And I, I use a very small camera just to observe. And after that, uh, start creating the, 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 the language, the, the way me and Flavia was looking for because for, to, for, for, for the director, it was so clear that she doesn't, she, doesn't, she, 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 she desires a long, long shots without cutting a lot, you know, like um, start, uh, uh, if, 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 if I start, if I'm, I, 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 I'm the key, um, like for instance, the kitchen, I have a, a dialogue in the kitchen and uh, Flavia doesn't want to cut a big, a, this, this uh, long dialogue for one, one camera and second camera here, okay? And it, it was only one camera on set, not two cameras. And then we, we decided to use a lot of handheld camera with, um, with, 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 and the idea it was not follow all the time. You know, the, 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 like like a cinema verité or uh, f follow the, the actor, follow follow the actors, but holding the scene, holding the shot. And then in the in, 
in this in this few rehearsal I have been with uh, Cassie and Flavia, I uh, I, I try to discover that 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 handheld, and I made uh, also I use in my uh, I use uh, one app that I really love. It's called Artemis. Artemis is it's it's really nice because you you set the camera, the lens, and the, the specific camera, the specific lens we are going to use when you are going to shoot. And then you set that in, in your iPhone and you can you can have and also the, the aspect ratio of the camera. And in the in this in this rehearsal also I use the, the, the small camera to shoot and the iPhone to make the, the real composition with the, the camera, the camera and the lens I, I will use on, on the production. And then the AD organized all of these captures, the, 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 the movie and, and the stills, and then create kind of storyboards. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't have someone to draw the storyboards, but we did a kind of sto storyboards of specific sequence with this footage that I shot in rehearsals and also scouting place and scouting the, the, the places. Yeah, this is quite interesting. And also, mm -hmm. um, as we have uh, lots of students uh, from the, the universities here, I, I bet they are very interested in this tip that you gave uh, with the app. And mm -hmm. uh, for mm -hmm. our audience, please feel free to send any questions that you guys had um, about the cinematography or even about the story, any doubts that you guys uh, had or any thoughts that came up during uh, your view. We are here to also talk to you. Um, Eloisa, uh, I, I couldn't stop noticing that um, Unremember has a lot of beautiful scenes. Uh, the scene during the rain is very touching, is very emotional because it's very natural. The way that the kids, be, uh, they act together, they behave together, it's very uh, natural. It, it, it doesn't look um, set in, in any way, it doesn't look artificial. And uh, it is sometimes a, bit, a little bit difficult to work with uh, young actors like childs, uh, not uh, Gianni because she, she was already a teenager, but the, the young child would be a little more difficult. And also, um, I noticed uh, a visual construction that was very skillful that uh, brings Joana often in the corner of the painting. Uh, in my interpretation, I saw this kind of composition like to highlight uh, the discomfort that she was uh, feeling and, and her sense of no, no belonging because she, she just be, uh, came to a whole new country despite her Brazil was uh, her homeland. She uh, almost didn't have any memories from here. And this, this um, visual, this cinematography, uh, this cinematic, um, way to tell, to tell a story really brings us as an, as an audience um, to make a deep um, immersion in, the, in the, the film's story. And I would like to know uh, which were your references to, to this movie and to these to this shots uh, that, you, that you did and how was for you to, to to um, shoot uh, the, the rain scene with the kids, because uh, for me, it was uh, quite a pleasure to watch. Thank you very much, Bruno. Uh, the, rainy, the rainy sequence, it was, uh, it was a big challenge. Um, and that's the, 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 only, the only day we, we had two cameras. Uh, that's the only. That's the only day we had uh, uh, me, the, me uh, as camera operator, and another another woman as a uh, camera operator, Kika. Uh, she, uh, and and that and that day, uh, it was one day to shoot that sequence. No more. Uh, <laughs> no more. And, and not. And, and, and 
we concentrate, we focus in, in to, 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 to prep production, to, to produce that day and stay there to, to, to have that sequence. Um, uh, the idea all the time, the, the, the idea to shoot uh, kids uh, for the crew, for the, for, 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 the, for the, not, not only for the photographer crew, but for everybody is let's be ready. We need, we need to be ready when you say ready and then uh, they, they, and, and then we, 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 we did something that we decide to don't say like um, camera and action. It was very silent um, set. When we are ready, we tell the, we, 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 we told the, we tell AD, the AD and, and, and Flavia looks at me, I, 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 I look to, to Flavia and start, start shooting. Of course, we have a slate, we have a, um, uh, there is a procedure, of a technical procedure about sound, about, uh, about all departments, but it was so important to don't, to don't uh, shout, don't scream, camera, action, no. Just have a, a silence, uh, 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 a silence mood, a silence uh, set for to to pro, uh, to promote um, to improve the concentration, the focus of the kids. It was so important for everybody to understand that the kids needs they they need they they need they need to be um, uh, spontaneous and and to 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 feel that. Um, we we are not we're not in, um, when 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 Flavia and they, they say for the kids, uh, okay, we're ready. You can go there. You can go. In, you can go there. You can go to the to the the, the rainy. It's it's rainy. Look that it's rainy. It's it's a fake rainy. It's rainy. Everything is ready. Go there and play. And then we that's 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 our it's 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 a kind of. Um, no rehearsal for this kind of sequence. Okay, that's that. This kind of, of sequence is let's let's go play. You have your your brother, your sister there, and then let's let's have uh, 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 that's that that's the area. You have like a square. Then then you show a, a kind of a square. That's the square. That's that's the square you have to move. You have this place to 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 move on. Uh, we can go uh, 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 in and out of this place, but that's that's the place to play. And and um, and 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 we decide to do to do all the shootings that from the first day to the to the to the last day of unremember with this uh, procedure. Uh, we everybody knew that we need to be ready when when all the kids are coming to the set and then and then the raining the rainy day was we we, we spent um, hours i think i think we spent um, more than uh, we spent half a day preparing half a day preparing and another half a day was to shoot um and and uh, of course it was it was it was not a completely a sunny day it, it was a little bit cold it was it was a rain in a forest then it was it was not a warm day and um, and uh, uh, the, the idea is when 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 we start when we started raining with with the the dry clothes you have this we have this um, this moment in, in, in the sequence, when it starts raining, we have the dry clothes, the guys are coming in, in, inside of the frame. And then that's we, how many, how many uh, customers, how many uh, t-shirts and how many uh, uh, dress we have to change. I think we had only uh, two or three different ones to do again. Then, then it was really, really a big uh, uh, challenge for everybody. Not, not, not only for the the cinematographer uh, point of view. 
I don't know if I, I answer you about the rainy or, or what was oh, yeah. the second question? Uh. Um, yeah, the second question uh, was about the visual construction and always putting Joanna in the corner of the painting and to show this, this uh, the sense of no, belong, no belonging that she always has here in Brazil. And bit by bit, she's moving to the center of the, of the frame as she gains confidence of how being a Brazilian and discover uh, her history. And it's um, what kind of influence, if you have any to produce, uh, to have these ideas and, and to, to propose this kind of, of uh, shooting? Well, for, um... Like uh, what I said about the script, in in the, in the script, I uh, uh, Fl Flavia described uh, the mood the mood of uh, uh, Joanna's mood in Paris is colorful because she has she 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 has friends she doesn't want to leave Paris she she was she's a teenager in a place that she doesn't want to leave. She doesn't want to, 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 to come back to Brazil. And, yeah. and then we, we, are, we, we call this, this beginning, the beginning of the film, Paris is more tropical than Brazil, about colors, yeah. about colors. And then we, we, we decide to, 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 to look Paris. This, it, it, Paris is, is, is her heart. She doesn't. She doesn't uh, uh, want to 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 leave the, this 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 place, this lovely place. And then uh, we decide to to pr to produce all the colors, not only the the um, her clothes, but her friends and and places. There are colors. It's colorful, and 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 Brazil, Rio de Janeiro. We uh, uh, we did we did um, a list of the places. Uh, Rio de Janeiro. It, it doesn't it doesn't mean uh, for Joana Carnival. It doesn't mean uh, a tropical colors. It means a place with uh, big mountains, and and uh, and the stone. Uh, it, it was the, the big mountain and the stone. Um, it was the point of view of, of through her window. When 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 she arrived in Brazil, the apartment. Um, when when she arrived, and she's going to live in in a small room on 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 on, on the back of the, the building, and her view is 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 a, is a big is a big stone. It's a big mountain. And, and then Rio de Janeiro is starting being mountain stone and, 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 the, and the, the palette of the color palette, the tones, uh, we, we, we build up a tones of uh, bluish gray and, 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 and day by day, she's discovering her, her uh, uh, um, that that's that's the, this place it 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 belong it start belonging her, but it takes time to 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 happen this because she spent time uh, uh, discovering her story about her, uh, the relationship between her grand her grandmother and and a new friends and it's a, a rediscovery and the rediscovering it, it start it starting. Uh, um, Sparkly, little little colors, but but not but not tropical because it's it's a time of we are talking about uh, uh, I, I call this 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 time it's in between it is something 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 it's it's not exactly um, but that but she's discovering something else that is going to sparkly uh, inside uh, her heart and then. The reference uh, to, to Flavia Castro was was films. Um, she, she gave me uh, she she gave me some films to to watch. It was more documentary films than 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 fiction. Um, to 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 understand um, the spontaneous way. To short, it was it was so important to 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 to, under, to understand 
the desire and, um, of of the director and the mood the mood of the the, the script it was uh, something between uh, documentary and fiction uh, because we we are talking um, about um, spon spontaneous spontaneous action and and um, but but also but also this this um, decision to shoot handheld and and also um, the, the idea is it was not it was not to use a jump cut or or um, a, a, a two cameras and it was it, it was really um, idea idea to to have a um, long scenes, long scenes, yeah. One of the things that I really enjoyed, I think this is the first feature film for Flavia Castro, right? And it was to me wonderful because there are so many things intertwined on the on the story. It's not only a, a political uh, film, but it is also a coming of age for you know a young girl. It's a family drama. It is um, so many layers underlying the whole story. It keeps you very attached to the film, watching it very uh, firm. And uh, I. I read in one of the articles that I was reading about, is this also almost like a, an autobiography? It is based in many things taken from her own life and her own experience, Flavia's, right? Yeah, it, it is, um, Flavia did um, an uh, other film before, uh, it's called, in, in Portuguese, Diário de uma Busca, uh, I think in English is diary letters revolution, mm -hmm. and this 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 film before and remember it was it was completely uh, autobiographic, okay. and unremember Flavia Flavia say, says uh, tells uh, that it's um not it's not completely it's not totally autobiographic. It no, was it, it was an uh, invention. It was an uh, uh, there is a a memory inventions. There is, there is, there is. Of course, there is a, a, um, some points very important that she she used to live. Uh, she, she left Brazil. She 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 used to live in Paris uh, during from sixty nine to seventy nine. She came back in, in seventy nine because it was the beginning of the amnesty in Brazil, and 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 then some some people starting coming back from. Seven nine because, uh, but our our the the the, the military dictatorship um, in in Brazil was from sixty four to eight five twenty one twenty one years. But some people start coming back on seven nine because it was it it, it start opening. It was the beginning of the amnesty and and Flavia. Uh -huh. and, and Flavia had this experience in that age. She, she, she left Brazil about six and she came back about 16. Mm -hmm. Th that, that's the man, that's the man uh, um, issue of, of her uh, of the story mm -hmm. and of her life. Mm -hmm. And other others uh, uh, actions around Joana, the, the character she created, it, mm -hmm. it was not it's not totally autobiographic, but this period in her life, it, it was. And what, what I love uh, in, in, in that point that Flavia construct and invented a, a story around her story. She created a, um, um, a atmosphere, moods and, uh, and stories around her own story and then and then it was so deep so strong uh, uh and so emotional for for her and for us to be with her uh shooting a story that i i could see that it's it's a hairy story but not 100 percent because she's recreating yeah the, the situation she recreating the story yeah that was wonderful Very thank nice. you 
Thank you yeah. very much. Um, we have uh, some uh, thoughts from our audience and some questions. Um, the first one is from Tatiana Machado Griffin. And she says, I was curious to know about casting, finding children and adults who spoke multiple languages, French, Portuguese, Spanish, and who would easily switch between them was so interesting as a viewer. How hard was it to cast for the movie? And I also had this, this same feeling that uh, they change. This is a, a multicultural uh, film because um, the family is multicultural, right? They speak mm -hmm. Portuguese, they speak French, they speak Spanish. And uh, to find this, these children to, to, who can easily change the, the languages uh, should be, must have been a challenge. I, I think for, for, for casting, I think the premise for the, 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 the casting and for Flavia, it is um, all, all the kids must uh, speak at least French and, and Portuguese. They, 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 they must uh, speak both. And then they, they, they did a, uh, uh, a, a, deep, a deep work in uh, French schools in Brazil, in a Pasteur uh, college in Rio. And, and also they, they open uh, uh, some, some tests in, in Sao Paulo, I think. I'm not sure. But they, 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 they start looking for uh, uh, kids in, 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 in school, in French schools in, in Rio. And, um, uh, and of course, Fla Flavia had um, someone, uh, it was not exactly a coach, but it's someone to prepare the, um, these kids. It was, it was really nice because when I was in, the, in a, in a pre-production phase, I, I talked with, with, with um, you about the rehearsals and that, that person, Amanda, was there with the kids preparing mm -hmm. because it was first time of all of them. It was first time in motion picture, all the, all, the, all the kids and, 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 all, and especially Joanna. Mm. It was first film for all. And, um, and, and the casting, it's, it's, for me, it was, it was brilliant. It was so special, so special. Oh, Bruno is yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, <I'm here. laughs> yeah. It was. It was. It's really special. The the, the kids and 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 Joanna, uh, so 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 special. So so special. It it was a a a a, a intense a, a deep work, a casting casting in in a, in a in a um, in a French schools, and and most of of them they had they have. Uh, or, or a father French, a mother, mother Brazilian, something like that, that or, or mother uh, uh, French and, and father Brazilian, something like that, mix, mix culture, yeah. mix. Uh -huh. Because they, they must have the, the, these two languages, so it's easier if one of the fathers, one of the parents are, are from France. Um, Tatiana also comments that I love, uh, she loved how Jojo, she's, she's, she's so intimate with the character that she used in the nickname. Jojo, <laughs> <Joshua>, yeah. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. uh, she loved how Jojo always switches to friends when she wants to express anger and frustration. And it is clear that she feels more in control when speaking French with her mother. Uh, language is such a powerful tool in this movie. Thank you for this masterpiece. Wow. And also, Paulo Procno uh, said this, this is a great movie indeed. It has uh, multiple layers, but never tries to impose, impose one point of view. And he just asked how the movie uh, was received here in Brazil. Okay. Um... Let's let's answer the, the, the last one. Then I go to Tatiana um, comments. Uh, the move the uh, I remember premiere international in Venice Film Festival in two thousand eighteen, and then made the, the the career in Brazil in 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 the, in the theaters 
in two, uh, last year, 2019. It was, uh, it was uh, in 2000, 2018, was, was premiered in Venice and then in, in Rio Film Festival. And, um, and, and the film was, I, I, was, uh, I was very privileged because I've been in Venice with this film. It, it was really an un, unfor, unforgettable uh, um, section uh, in, in, in the Venice Film Festival in 2018. In, in, um, and in Brazil, it was so important in this film because uh, we are, we are in, in 2018, we are in, in election, uh, we're in the discussion, the president election and we beat this film uh, in festivals. In Brazil, and in, and 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 after that, we 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 go to the the the, the movie theaters. I think I think the film uh, stayed two months in in Rio and and more than 10, 10 cities in Brazil. Uh, I'm not sure how many cities, but um, but uh, for sure for sure in the main capitals in Brazil, and remember I have been and. Um, and also, uh, uh, I, I've been with Flavia, and and, and Flavia have been in a different uh, debates, and also with with, uh, with audience, and and she worked a lot with when when the film launched in Brazil because it was so important moment to 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 debate and and to 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 Q Q and A question and answers about uh, our story. Our, our uh, and our memories and 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 how difficult it was for us. It still, it still is difficult for us to talk about uh, this uh, um, this time the, the, the military and civil dictatorship in Brazil, and um, and it's 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 something that Flavia did a, a lot because she she was with the film. Um, uh, debate in, in in different in different places, not only movie theaters, but but also in in, in some uh, universities and and, uh, and 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 what and uh, what is the film still moving on? That's the reason I'm I'm, I'm here with uh, with you guys because it's so important to talk about this um, uh, about this story. What what um, uh, Ariane said it's a uh, it's a it's a family drama. It's 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 a it's a Brazilian st uh, story, and we we can't uh, forget what happened that time. It was a tough time, and uh, and the the big I think the for us uh, for for us the big the big problem in 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 Brazil, it's it's about the how the amnesty happened here. Um, yeah, and and we need we need to talk about this. Not, not, not only, not only, uh, um, not, not only Brazilian people, but uh, everybody need to know our our story, how how it was tough. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. Because here in Brazil, sometimes we have the tendency, and our governors sometimes have the tendency to uh, try to forget some uh, points of our history. And the history which is remembered, it's not repeated. And mm -hmm. this is um, uh, an urgent point that we have to, to look and to discuss about. Um, Eliza, one of my last questions uh, for you is that, as we know, uh, the, the cinema, it's not the most equally in, in gender as we can uh, see. Ancini released its last, um, its last review, its, its poll data, and it, it backs to 2016. And it said uh, that only a, a little less than 20% of Brazilian films released in 2016 uh, had a female cinematographer. And uh, the number from female directors, they're not uh, uh, better than that, not so better. And I like you, we have lots of students here from uh, colleges in the United States. Um, I would like you to send them some message for the, the girls, uh, the woman, the young woman that are, that are 
uh, inspired by cinematography and want to follow this career, um, I would like to talk to them and say um, about your story because you are um, very well known here in Brazil and your work is exquisite. Um, and you certainly is a role model for lots of these young women. And I would like you to send them some kind of message if you want. Well, I, I, I would love to share, um, of course, uh, around the world, cinemat uh, female cinematography is not uh, the majority. <laughs> it, uh, it's not only, it's not only a, in Brazil, in the United States also. I, I, I'm, I'm a member, I'm a part of the group called Cinematograph XX. That's the female cinematographers in Brazil because I, I used to, to work in the US um, um, as a cinematographer. And uh, what, what is important is, um, to, I, I think each one has uh, her proper history, but what's important is to believe and to work uh, in what you believe and what you, you if you, and, and, and try to, to, to work hard and what you, if you desire to be something, work, work and focus to, to be and, and to realize your desire, your wishes. Yeah? If, if, you, if you have a privilege to go to cinema school and you, 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 your feeling is, I, I'm, I, my desire is to be cinematographer, director of photograph, you can do that. Everybody can do that. But of course, the doors, the doors are not completely open for us. That's the point. Then what, what we need to do? We need, we need to join and people who has, uh, 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 who, who are not racist, who has open eyes, open mind, because in, 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 we find what, what I, I, I think I'm, I, I, I was luck, but it was not only luck, because I always look for people and stories uh, not uh, um, with with uh, people with open mind and open mentality and 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 then the doors start open for me and but um, I think I I I, I did um, I I break a lot of walls years and years ago uh, because the doors was not, not completely open but in my mind if 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 um, uh, when I when I when I start working, I saw uh, I met only two or three women working in, in in photograph department. It was enough for me to believe that I could I I, I could get that place one day, because mm -hmm. I saw in the beginner uh, Katja and Isabella working thir thirty years ago, the, in nineteen ninety, and I saw I saw these girls and I said wow. If Katja and Isabella are are doing this, why 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 I cannot do that also? Then it that that that, that girls for me was inspiring me a lot, and um, I I start I start I start um, follow uh, 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 people in the market, and 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 don't. And don't give up, <laughs> and don't give up. But uh, we know, we know the um, when when the, the it is it is a, 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 a I call I call this 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 photograph about gender less less woman in, in not only not only cinematography but if you if you if you if you go and and see uh, the list of original soundtrack who who, who is the composers. No women. Yeah. Uh, where's the woman in, 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 in soundtracks? Where's the woman in, 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 in it's not only in the cinema, cinematography, but I think I think it's, it's, it's a structure problem. And we need and we need to, to 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 believe that we can change that. We can change this this status quo. We can change this this situation and we can do that. And but what is, is so important is to join with people and 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 make a group or a collective to discuss how to do together. Because if, if you can do with another, another girls, if you have a group, 
I think it's it's easier to break the wall. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Um, um, I'm friends with uh, Luisa Pecora here in Brazil. She is uh, responsible for the website uh, Woman in Film in Portuguese, Mulher no Cinema. And she also, uh, she always says that, um, she, first of all, she uh, talked to everyone to do the, the 52 film by women challenge, which is to watch at least one movie per week directed uh, or uh, with a female leading character. And uh, she also says that uh, the importance for us as viewers um, to uh, prestige these productions, to watch these productions directed by females while they're in the movies, because this tells, it sends a clear message that we want to see these stories. We like to see um, um, this, this kind of productions, N not that it's some kind of uh, uh, female gaze as some, some people like to, to think about that. I, I, I I'm, I'm strongly disagree with this. I don't believe in male or female gaze. I believe in human gaze because it's the way that we see. And there, there is lots of uh, different ways to see and, and it's not divided by gender. Uh, but when we, when we go to the movies in the first weeks that we have a film released, it is a clear message to the distributors, to the producers, that mm -hmm. we want to see more of that. So uh, for us as viewers, I, I'll, when, when people sometimes ask me as a film critic what I think about this issue, I always say to uh, prestige, to watch these films, to, to post on social media, because this is the way that we can do, uh, we can help and we can see more diversity in the movies, because this is what about, we can be uh, um, locked, we can be closed in one way narrative, because there is multiple ways to see the world. Um, and Adiani, if you have any more questions to Eloisa, well, the one thing only that I think to me is always on all these films that we bring, because we bring films with social conscience. That's, that's my main goal. Every film that we bring has some very important um, subject. And on this, like, there were so many. But one of the things that I think many, for those of us who have a very similar experience by living you know, abroad, on a different country uh, and have children that are grown up in a different country and everything. Um, it is a very important. Sometimes people forget their history and I don't want to forget my history. And I think this one, even though it's a subtle, um, it shows on a subtle way, all the political implications of having a family have to be um, gone to, you know, abroad because of the political system. And then the adaptation for they come back. It's not an easy process. It's a very difficult process. And uh, at the same time that, uh, you know, the, when the, the dictatorship ended and they opened up for people could, the amnesty came and people could come back who had been um, who had been in the you know abroad because of the politics they um, also had at the same time that they opened up to allow the people to come back they opened up for those who have been really the how do you call them the ones who who instilled all the, the bad things on the people who did the crimes and they were also released from prison. They were, it was all open for them too. So that to me was very, um, and to this day, I think, I don't think the people have been judged or anything. And I think we need to know that. We need to know the loss what 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 they are when there is a dictatorship and what they become when the dictatorship is open we still have to to have that present in our minds 
can, to me, I love history and I just think that we need to learn. We need to keep our history present so that we can do something better in our country. But the film is very, very interesting in that aspect too. You know, and what do you do, you know, when you come back, when uh, you return to a better situation, or at least you think it is a better situation? I, I, I love Flavia Castro's and, um, movie because I think being one of her first, it, it was a marvelous work. And, um, and when I talked to her, you know, I had invited her and she said, I cannot do that, but please um, invite Eloisa because she was with me all in all aspects of it. She knows the film <laughs> just upside down, just like I do, you know? <laughs> so I'm so glad that you could be here, Eloisa, with us. It is really, really wonderful. And um, so Flavia lives mostly in Paris right now or in Brazil, or she goes back and forth? She, she goes back and forth. Yeah, yeah she's, 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 she's Paris. Her, her daughter and, and her son, they live, they, they study in, in, in Paris and she goes she back and forth between Paris and, and Rio. Well, I don't know how to thank you because I think it has been wonderful to have you talking to us. And Bruno, you too, who has been doing so much, we'll still see you tomorrow. Right. And, but we are arriving almost at the end of our 12 day uh, Master Festival. And there are so many people and organizations that we need to thank without which support we could not, you know, provide this festival and bring these films to our audience this year, a virtual audience. But uh, I think it has been a very different experience uh, for us. It was a challenge. It was the first time we do a virtual festival. And, but I think uh, it has been well received. And so to our numerous sponsors, in particular, the Department of Cultural Affairs, our umbrella organization partners of the Americas in Washington, the several universities, uh, Northwestern University of Chicago, Columbia College, Chicago, DePaul, uh, Purdue in Indiana, um, and several others. Um, the, the Indiana chapter of Partners of the Americas and all those in our virtual, virtual audience who also made donations for us to be able to provide this for free to our audience. Um, we really want to thank so many of them, everyone. We, I also want to thank, give a special thank you to my curatorial committee because we spent hours and hours reviewing so many films and we have to, chose, to choose so few of them. Um, to the moderators, I think I really have to thank Bruno did a lot of them, but we also had um, Francesco Ballerini, Mariana Santos, Claudia Balbi, and Jose Ricardo Jaquinto, who helped us out on our discussions. Thank you so much to the many businesses and individuals who donated to our silent auction. And by the way, the silent auction is still on the air. You are still um, able to get some items if you want, and uh, that will help us also. And, and our virtual team working behind the scenes, uh, you can come up, Lua and Felipe too, if you want to, um, who are the ones today here with us. You know. I had six very bright, talented young people, five women and one man, young men, all of them students or just graduates from Columbia College at DePaul and my granddaughter from University of McGill University in Canada, who just graduated and is back in Chicago, without whom I could not have brought this virtual master to fruition, really. And um, so, it, it has been a delight to work with these young, young people. They were so interested, so preoccupied of having everything done right. And uh, you know, when you see young people like that, that have uh, um, a will to do something good and doing it well, it, it really brings a lot of hope to my heart because I think we still have very 
good young people in this world that can can do some very good things. So, and um, and last and most of all, thanks to our virtual audience, without you, there would be no meaning to this festival. I hope you will join us tomorrow for our very special panel that was is sponsored by the Partners of the Americas in Washington. It's a panel on gender and we'll be presenting one short film and then the panel will discuss the, the gender subject and uh, the last film of the, the festival, which is um, Aos Nossos Filhos, Our Children, who will be shown at seven o'clock in the evening. The panel is at four o'clock in the afternoon and then we'll have a little break and then we'll have the discussion with the other film. So I hope you are there with us tomorrow and both of you, thank you so, so much, Eloisa and Bruno for helping us out, bring light into a lot of this uh, films that we have here. Thank you so much. And please give my best and uh, my love to Flavia because I think it was a wonderful uh, production. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the invitation. It was so special and, and, and uh, Flavia Castro is really special also. <laughs> and it's, it's, I think it's, it's so important to, to look at our past to not only to understand our history, but also to do not repeat mistakes and violent, violent times. That's, that's, and, and I think Unremember um, has this uh, deep uh, proposal uh, to, to look at, uh, at our past and to, to, to make a reflection to, not, to do not repeat uh, uh, violent times. Exactly. Not only in Brazil, but around the world. Everywhere. <laughs> Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you for thank the you. opportunity. It was a pleasure, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Bruno. Bye. <laughs>